Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, all of the comments, and everything that you share with me and the channel. And um, for everyone who donates to the channel and all of the super thanks, I just want to say I really appreciate you. Those things don't go unnoticed. Um, the card jumped out while I was doing our intro. So, um, if a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And if a message is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, um, you can leave that message for somebody else. Or you can always come back and watch the message later. So, let's see. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in to read what energies are coming out. The first card out was the Seven of Swords and uh, the Ten of Swords. So, it looks like someone is has done something. Um, maybe they lied or stole something and they're looking back at the person that they hurt. And this is somebody that they're looking at like was a soulmate or they're looking at the past. Or this could be you looking at past hurts whenever it comes to betrayals with someone who was in your life for a very long time. You could have known this person since childhood or this could be somebody that you have children with. The next cards out are the seven of... I'm sorry, the seven of wands in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. So there's something about someone looking at um, this energy and feeling like they ruined a happy home or a happy life or some kind of energy that was really good. Or there's something about someone, this could be you looking back where you had to get out of a situation where someone was doing something to betray you oh my goodness the cards that are coming out the devil has come out while it's shuffling and the three of pentacles so it's like you're looking back at something that has to do with how unhappy you were in a situation whenever it comes to somebody who is behaving in um, controlling energy or somebody who is just being toxic in their behavior and this could be somebody that you work with or that you had to partner with for some reason. This could have been a coworker, or this could be an ex-partner. Or this is someone who's in your life right now that's around you that you're having to deal with. The Empress has come out. So for some of you, this is talking about somebody that you have children with. Hmm. This could also be somebody looking at you, looking at all of the ways that they betrayed you and seeing that you left because you were unhappy. Show me the Empress. Yeah. For a lot of you, this storyline is talking about something to do with children. And it's like there's something about sneaking away from someone who was doing something um, possibly with children to control a situation that you had to partner with them in. This person is looking at something from a different perspective right now and they're wanting to message you. They feel like they're they need to apologize or they're like they're Hold on one second, because there's a couple different messages I'm getting. This person feels like they snuck away towards someone who's juggling them and is causing them pain, or they feel like whatever energy they moved into, if this is not another person, there's something about them feeling like they are being juggled and or like they're having a hard time keeping balance, and that whatever they did here is causing them pain. Like, whatever they betrayed you for wasn't worth it. They could see you as the Queen of Swords whenever it comes to them. Mm, a lot of cards came out all at one time. Um...
This they know that if they come back towards you, that you are not going to be accepting of them because of whatever they did here in the past to betray you. Where what I'm seeing is you were connected to somebody and you were an energy of being vulnerable with them. You you had your guard down whenever you were in whatever this connection is or was. And what they did here caused you to look at them from a different perspective or see them for exactly who they are. And it caused you to change whatever this is between you and them or you chose a different path. There's judgment here whenever it comes to um, this partnership with someone who... This looks like somebody who was um, some kind of a soulmate, whether they were karmic or something that was good for you. It's, it's like it turned karmic. There's someone who you see as someone who will do things by any means necessary to win something and they it's like they did something by any means necessary to win but it pushed them into a place of feeling like they missed an opportunity whenever it comes to um, something to do with you and an ending so there's an ending here with someone who is is controlling or toxic or doing something in a partnership where they're they're wanting to talk to you whoever this is oh there's two ten of swords cards in this deck this one says everything is fine at the bottom this one just says the ten of swords so they could be doing something like that like trying to convince themselves that whatever it is that they did here whatever they betrayed you for it, it's fine to them but this is coming out for a reason so what is the reason that the collective needs to know this the queen of cups fell on top of the empress mm. because this person still has love for you or they still have some kind of feelings for you or they're seeing you like you are um, someone who's very nurturing and, and kind, but they know that you, they cannot come back towards you because of this behavior. This could be their karma. Like seeing you sitting there in your abundance and not being able to come back because of whatever they did. Yeah, you're moving on from this person or this energy. Wow, the three of wands, the eight of cups, and the world. So this is energy of something you, like a cycle that you've been waiting to close out for a very long time is coming in and you're getting to move away. Um, there's something that's coming to a complete closure here that with the death and the world out here. And um, this could have to do with a romantic connection that you had invested in for a very long time or there's something about you making a choice to invest somewhere else independently of whoever this person is you could be dealing with a gemini a libra a taurus scorpio what is the hmm? let's see what this card is It's the King of Pentacles in reverse. So I was asking what is what's hidden what's being hidden from the collective. And it's somebody who's jealous and money hungry or focused on money in a detrimental way where they're looking back at whatever's going on with you. And that's part of why they're feeling this way, why they're feeling like they did something to cause a defeat within their own energy because they feel like you have whatever you need. You're showing up as an empress energy and they feel like they can't come towards you. And then here in the future, it's showing that you are 
making a decision to move on somewhere else and you're the nine of pentacles. So it's like you separate from whatever this is and you go at it alone, whatever you're doing here. And this person, if you have children with them, there's something about um, the children being around them and them having anxiety or something. And it has something to do with the way that your kids look. Like maybe your kids look like you or... Um, like they're very sweet or they're very loving. They're very um, childlike and their energy is free. And there's something about this making this person feel anxious or defeated because they made this beautiful baby with you and they can't share things with you about them. That they did this to themselves. Whoever this is, they block themselves from you. This wasn't something, for whoever this storyline is for, this isn't something that had to be done. This is something that they chose to do because of greed. And then it evolved into this. And now they can't come back to you because there's boundaries here. They could be tied to a karmic Sagittarius. Or there's something about them doing something like being an energy of anxiety and also being very unbalanced. There's some flow between you and them that is blocked now. And it's like that's what they're mourning here with um, the Page of Cups. Because whoever, if you do have children with them or if there was something to do with... Um, Something you created or something that you have to share, whatever that is, is not reflecting any kind of regret or anything. This child or this creation, whatever it is, is resilient in this cycle. So they're still coming up as very innocent and sweet. And it's like they have to look at it. <laughs> as, I know that's a weird, that's what I'm seeing here. That's funny. Um, the Six of Wands came out with the Knight of Wands on top of the... Um, those Two of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. What I was getting with this energy over here is it's like... I heard this is what you wanted. So whatever this person did, they worked themselves into something where... It's like, okay, well, you wanted to lie, cheat, steal, betray the collective and put make it to where it was so difficult to be around you that you had no, like you, the collective had no other choice, but to move away from whoever this is. And so you did that, but it's like, now they're coming back towards you. And it's weird because what it's showing up as this triumph that they got in this situation is attached to their pain. And it's like their win. Pull more cards so I can say it correctly. Yeah. This is just somebody who is being very stubborn is what I'm seeing. So the emperor has come out with the empress. You could have children or a family or a business with whoever this is. It's like somebody put you in a position to where you had no choice but to do, to take the steps that you needed to in order to protect yourself or to put up boundaries or to protect something that you and this person shared. And... So for some of you, this is a divorce. For some of you, this is some kind of a court case. For some of you, this is um, something to do with a business or with coworkers or with an ex-boss or um, this could be anything, any kind of a relationship where there's some kind of a power struggle. And this power struggle came from a place of somebody not wanting to be challenged because of their money. Whoever this is is somebody who's very jealous and controlling. And you did what you needed to to move away. And it's, it's like, okay, so what else did you expect for, you know, to happen here? You got what you wanted. I'm not in your life anymore. And now they're coming back towards you. Like, Because they feel like you are the place that they need to be investing in. And their tactical, intelligent energy 
that they have, like that part of them is looking at you like you're the place that needs to be um, the investment. There could be somebody around you or this group of people that is looking at something that this person invested in whenever it comes to some kind of grand delusion, whenever it has to do with money that they were supposed to give you, that they just caused some, some kind of a, um, a stalemate between you and them, but they're still having to give it to you. It's like there's something here where... Something is being given to you, and it's like they thought if they did this, they wouldn't have to do that part. So this is somebody who didn't want to give you child support or didn't want to give you alimony or didn't want to give you your last check at work or didn't want to, you know, give you whatever it was that you were due. And they tried to cause a confusion around a group of people. They could have put you at a place where you were needing to rest or feeling um, like bogged down by whatever this energy is. And they could have caused a lot of confusion in you. And there's a tower here in this situation. There's something unexpected that's going to be happening. To who? What is this? Yeah, there's some unexpected happy news that's coming in. And it has to do with clarity around whatever this, this situation is. So yesterday, the message that I was getting was somebody looking into something and seeing a happy scene. It's like that's what this is today. This is someone who is unexpected, unexpected, unexpectedly getting clarity about you and the path that you're on. It's like your destiny is being revealed to this person and there's something in this situation where it's like there's a tower this person is experiencing around whatever this delusion is that they have been in. Where this person could have been very foolish. And it's like they're starting to see that you're very happy and free of them. And manifesting something new. You could be in the spotlight right now. There's something that you could be doing where a lot of people have their eyes on you. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius. And they, there's a partnership that's coming towards you. I don't know if it's this person or somebody new, but there's something here where somebody wants to partner with you and somebody's going to be saying something to you. Mm. This looks like them because this is showing up as somebody who's going to come in and try to partner with you unexpectedly because they see that there is... Um, like happiness and healing with you. If this is somebody new, this is going to be out of the blue. Like this will be something that you don't expect to happen. And it could put you in your head. You're being told to listen to your intuition whenever it comes to this person. This person could be married if this is somebody that's new. And they're wanting to um, leave some kind of a conflict inside their home life. Or this could be this past person. For some of you, what this is showing is there's someone who is already attached to somebody else. Um, and then the Queen of Wands came out whenever I was saying that. But there's... Um, It's like somebody's wanting to hold on to an old connection and you. They could be holding on to a karmic feminine. And they it's like they're trying to come in to, to reconnect with you, but they want to hide this connection between you and them. Why is it showing up like that? What is this? This could be somebody who's been um, like secretly admiring you from far away that could come in and 
suddenly communicate with you, but this could be somebody that you, maybe you work with this person or you talk to them on a computer, is what I'm seeing. Um, and this is someone who's going to come in and try to talk to you, but I'm seeing that they have another person in the background that you may not see. And again, this could be the old person also. It's like they're coming back towards you, but they're not getting rid of the person that's showing up as karmic that's attached to them. So what else does the collective need to know about this situation? Oh my goodness. Okay, the Emperor in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Got the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Death card, and Judgment. So, what you need to know is there's someone coming towards you because they are unhappy. They're coming towards you and they could be angrily doing this. Whoever this is, is someone who is trying to control something with hateful words or it's like they're very angry. Whoever this is, is coming towards you. For others of you, this person is coming towards you and they could be trying to separate from somebody that they're with, but they're not revealing this information. There's something that they're holding in about an unhappy home. You are being told to hold back your energy because some, for some of you, you could have two masculines coming towards you. There could be one that you were previously married to and one um, that is coming in and they're, in, they're just in weird energy. Whoever this is, is in a um, unhappy relationship somewhere or they're just unhappy or this is one person together and they're coming towards you in a rage. You're being told to hold back from whoever this is. Because there's an ending that's in sight, is what I just heard. And judgment is here for whatever this connection has to do with. You're showing up here at the center of this reading. As somebody who's passionate, charismatic, someone who's powerful and in control. You need to know that is what's showing up here. So whenever, whoever this is that comes in, you, you're being told to... To hold on to your own, own energy. Don't let this person coax you into any kind of an argument because they are unhappy. Because there's some sort of transformation here. The Six of Cups came out again. So you may know who this person is. I mean, that's the way that it's showing up. This looks like somebody who's an ex or someone from your past. For others of you, this could be a soulmate that's coming in. And they could be somebody who... Um, it's like when you meet whoever this is, they're coming out of a relationship with somebody else. So what is the advice there? To be grounded and practical. So this could be somebody that you need to be friends with before you, before anything else happens. Um, because it looks like there's, there could be somebody else in this person's energy. Yeah. <laughs> and the King of Wands just came out facing the Queen of Wands. Show me the King of Wands. <laughs> the lovers came out. So whoever this is could be somebody that's very attractive. And you could, when you meet them, or if this is a new person, this could be somebody that you feel very drawn to, that you think is very attractive, or there's a lot of chemistry between you and whoever this is. If this is a past person, it looks like they could be coming towards you an energy where they're trying to create anger between you and them, some kind of fight. But whether it's old or new, I am seeing someone who's already in some kind of home that's unhappy. So whoever this is lives with somebody currently. Yeah, and they're looking at you. They want some kind of a victory here. 
the Knight of Wands has come out. That's the way they came out the last spread, too. So somebody's charging towards you. This could be somebody who feels like you are out of reach for them. But they're still coming in. So this could be somebody that you work with or someone who is karmic. Um, this could be somebody who is trying to heal, but they're, they're in something that they feel like they wasted their time in and they want to end whatever this cycle is. So right now, the energy between you and whoever this new person is is blocked. There's nothing that they can give you where it would be even. This could change, but what this looks like is someone who needs to take care of something first. So. Hang on, let me do one more. Show me the Emperor in reverse. My Page of Cups again, so. They could come in and try to apologize to you, or this has something to do with kids here. Like they could be using kids whenever they come towards you. Whatever they do, you're being told to hold on to your energy. If this is a new person, they could come in and ask you to go out for coffee. Yeah. And the chariot in reverse is clarifying the king of swords in reverse. This is the other masculine energy I was seeing. So there's something that's blocked between you and whoever this is. <laughs> Some of you could have um, two people coming towards you. Um, one of these people could be somebody who just gets under your skin where they get on your nerves. This could be your ex. And then there could be a new person that's coming in. So there's something about being balanced in your energy, like not engaging with people who upset you so that your energy isn't chaotic whenever you're speaking to, to whoever these people are that are coming towards you, because it looks like you have a couple of people here. Be introspective and pay attention to how you feel. Because whatever this is that's coming in could be some kind of an imbalanced contract that could cause you anxiety. And you are an empress energy. Whether you're masculine or feminine, that's what I'm seeing here. And there's something about you not needing to get off your throne for these people. Because they will cause you um, some kind of betrayal and hurt. I wish this was a better reading, but that's all I'm seeing here. Is that there's one or more people coming in. It's almost like if you get swept off your feet with one because this person's attractive and charming and their energy feels familiar, it could lead you down the path of being imbalanced and then it will cause you to, to lose it with whoever this other person is that's still in your energy that could be using something that you do care about um, to bother you. So you're just being told to pay attention to how you're feeling and to... Just wait to hold on to your energy until you see something clear. Is this going to be revealed, whatever this other person is? Yeah, you'll see it. Whatever this is, the second person, you're going to be able to see whatever this has to do with. So that's the message. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.